Hi, my name is Adam Weigler. I'm going to be uh, walking you through how to build out a website for the web modules in Viscom. Um, if you go through all one, two, and three web modules, this is kind of what we're working towards. Uh, essentially like a really small portfolio website that uh, you can use and build out as much as you want, but um, we'll be building this uh, particular page in web one. Um, it won't look quite as fancy, but we'll essentially have an about me page with a download button to our resume, some social media links, um, ways to contact us, uh, and then uh, a navigation with um, a link to a work page with some examples of our work that also has the same footer. So this is what we're working towards. Um, but what we're going to be doing is building out just the HTML with a little bit of CSS. So we're going to make something that looks kind of like this. So it's not as fancy, but we'll talk about that a little bit more. You should have read a little bit uh, about the layers of web design. So we're really working on the um, content and a little bit of the presentation layer, the HTML and a tad of CSS. Uh, to get started though, what we want to do is we actually want to download the starter files. Um, this is going to download a zipped file that we're going to use uh, on our page. Uh, so you'll want to unzip that and what you get is a folder here. Now the biggest thing about web uh, and the hardest thing to get started is really putting things in the correct spaces um, so the links and everything actually works when you're um, developing a website. So um, a good way to organize this is to have uh, all of your files in Box, and they should be doing this anyway, but I have a folder inside of Box, and I'm using uh, Box Drive here, um, so that way I can access all my Box files and they sync up to Box without having to go through the website. Uh, so Box Drive is what I have here. Uh, Box Sync is another one. Um, both of them do similar things, but um, if you put all your um, work on the cloud, then it, it won't uh, um, go away or won't get deleted if your computer crashes or anything like that. So uh, it's an easy way to back things up. Now, I have a Viscom Modules and then JOMC 131 folder. I'd recommend having one for each class that you have in Viscom, just so you can kind of keep it organized. But essentially what I'm going to do is we're going to use this folder for all three web modules. Um, we're just going to be building on it uh, over all three of them. Now, most of you don't have to do uh, more than two web modules, but if you want to do the third one, um, you'll kind of finish off the site. Um, but uh, either way, Web 1 and Web 2 are both going to use this folder. So I'm just going to move it over into my box folder. And what you'll see in there is we have um, an images folder that we're going to put some images in. Um, this is the HTML file we're going to work on and make it look like this. And then the style will build out as well. So there's not much in there now to look at, but um, we, need, we do need to have that in the correct space. The next thing on the instructions is we need to download something called brackets. Uh, it's what's called an HTML or web editor. Uh, it's a free download. Uh, it's called an open source software that actually Adobe um, has worked on. Um, so it's available for free to download. Um, we'll walk through that a little bit. So you need to download that. The next thing you'll need to have is Chrome. Um, uh, Safari works fine for just browsing the web, but when you start actually making things for the web, Chrome and Firefox are really must-haves, and we're just going to stick with Chrome for now. Um, but there's some tools we can use to make our life a whole lot easier um, built in uh, to Chrome. And then the last thing we need um, is something called Create UNL. We'll talk more about what this is, but essentially it's a free account so we can upload our HTML and CSS files to what's called a web server, so that way it's live online. So we can go to a .com page and, um, and actually see it up online. So you'll just need to sign up. So getting started uh, here, the button, it'll walk you through. You really just sign in like you're signing into Canvas. Um, what you do need to think about is choosing your domain. So it's www.whateveryouwant.createunl. So mine is adamwagler.createunl.com. So we'll talk more about that after a bit. But you'll need that um, to get started um, with what we're doing here. Okay? So um, what we're going to do is jump into brackets really quick and actually kind of get things set up uh, so we can really just dive in and start making HTML. So what I'm going to do is open up brackets. Um, and it's not really a fancy program. It's what's called a web editor. So it's really just meant to edit text. 
Um, but in this case, we're going to edit HTML and CSS. Uh, and it actually helps us do that, and you'll see that along the way. But to get started, what we want to do is there's nothing really here. You might see something that looks like this um, when you open it up for the first time. Um, but what you'll notice is on the left side, there's a getting started. Now, what we want to do is click that, and you're going to only have one of these, so I've worked on a number of things. But um, what we want to do is we want to open a folder, and you want to open the folder that we just put into our box file, the one that we downloaded and unzipped, the one that's called VizCom Web. So we want to select it right here. We don't want to go any further, so just select it, the actual folder you want. And what happens is it pulls in a shortcut, so all of these um, files that we downloaded are here and they're ready to go for us to just start working on. So we can double click on it and it moves up to uh, what's called the working uh, files here so you see index and styles.css and you will build this out but you can kind of see that I'm just switching between files you can see up here the name of the files so I'm just going between files it makes it a whole lot easier now some people like to click on the little um, uh, icon here and do vertical split um, so that way you can actually kind of move the uh, HTML and the CSS on either side so if you like to do that that's totally cool um, but uh, it's just a way to set up and do things. So this is really going to get us started and is really one of the most important steps in web is really to get everything set and in place to begin with. So that way we know everything's correct as we move forward and we're just concentrating on like typing the HTML and developing what we want to actually create. So make sure you have uh, downloaded brackets and install it, download Chrome and install it, sign up for create UNL, um, and make sure you've read the instructions and everything um, for the web module because that will come in pretty handy. I'll be referring to that kind of throughout to kind of make clear some of the concepts you read about um, and how it applies specifically to the web.